This is the problem that Lehigh Technologies is trying to solve. I think everybody in this room has been exposed at one time or another to one of the issues that's shown on this slide. And I think everybody recognizes the huge environmental problem that waste tires can provide to our planet. The scale of the problem is shown on this slide. 300 million waste tires per year just in the United States. That's one for every man, woman, and child in the population, and enough to go round the earth multiple times. In addition to the developed world, you have a whole growing problem in the RDEs, where their mobility is leading to a huge problem already with tire waste. Now, the industry, aside from burning a lot of the tires for fuel value, has developed some low-value applications, like infill for these synth synthetic sports fields, or mulch. Hardly good uses for a very highly engineered, well-developed polymer. This is what Lehigh does with that waste tire material. We freeze it with liquid nitrogen to a temperature of 196 centigrade, minus, and we put it through one of six proprietary turbo mills that are spinning at 2200 revs per minute. And with this jet engine with teeth, we can produce 50 kilotons of micron scale rubber powder with this type of distribution all the way down at levels that have never been seen before in industrial uses, compared to, as I mentioned, the large particles that are produced for things like sports field or mulch. That's what's different about what we do. Our value proposition is threefold. It begins with sustainability, a better use for that waste tire material. We drive performance, incorporating the intrinsic properties of rubber in the formulations that we moderate, and we almost always provide cost savings for the people that use it to replace virgin raw materials. Now some applications. We have a closed loop system with many of our tire company customers where their waste comes to us and is delivered back to them as rubber powder for incorporation into the tread and the sidewall. Continuing on the theme of mobility, we're not in this car, I wish we were, but we're working on many automotive applications under the hood applications, where the heat resistance of the rubber modified plastics provides additional safety and cost reduction. And the wheel well liners, where we get improved gravel resistance and flexibility, and many other applications in that car. Now, in roads, the use of rubber has been known for a long time. Noise reduction, flexibility, and durability. We found that with smaller particle size powders, all of those properties are improved. So in all the areas of mobility, we have a role to play with re-engineered rubber. In the construction arena, we can play a role in many parts of a building envelope. And obviously with green building being an emerging trend in the construction industry, we believe that our materials have got a significant role to play. If we take a look at the first example, this is a part of a building that you never see. Underneath the flooring, cementitious uh, substrates are used to bind the flooring to the building envelope. By adding powder to these systems, you can improve the hydrophobicity, you can improve the flexibility, so as things move thermally, it doesn't crack, and it improves the sound deadening of the flooring system that results. This is the roof of the Anaheim Hilton in California. Underneath that typical cool roof top coat is a high rubber containing primer that was used to repair the roof, improve flexibility, provide additional insulating benefits to the coating system. And it was much, much cheaper than any other alternative system. This is outside our plant in Atlanta. We're working on applications for driveway maintenance and for parking lot coatings to replace solvent containing asphalt systems. Very poor durability, horrible to use, and all solvent containing. These are water-based systems with a high rubber content that are more durable, look better, and last a lot, lot longer. And lastly, here's an example where slip resistance is critical. These are plastic modular tiles that have been modified with our material to enable increased flexibility as parts of the floor are in sun and parts are not, improve slip resistance, lower cost, and recycled content. So I hope with those examples, I've given you a sense that not only can we deliver sustainability benefits, performance, and cost reduction to our customers, but we're well on the way to solving the environmental problem that I showed in the first slide. Thanks very much.